everyone, how's it going? Matthew Bailey here, and welcome to another 2022 movie review. Now, this one is unfortunately not a great review, because I thought the movie was going to be great, but it ended up being okay, but let me just get into it. So, the movie I'm reviewing today is Jurassic World Dominion. Yep, the third and f epic conclusion, the third movie to the Jurassic World trilogy and the epic conclusion to the Jurassic Park saga as a whole and uh, I gotta say it did not meet my expectations I mean to be fair it's like it's just like my friend Matthew Davis Media said in his review of Jurassic World Dominion that just like the original trilogy the first ever Jurassic Park was great and the second one was eh okay for me and then the third Jurassic Park movie from the original trilogy was a bad movie I don't know why they even made that and then then came the Jurassic World movies even though we had a pretty big gap in between the two trilogies the, first, the last movie of Jurassic Park Jurassic Park 3 came out in 2001 I believe and then we had like 14 years later before Jurassic World came out in 2015 and Seven years later, we get the conclusion to this uh, new Jurassic World movie, and um, that was in 2015. And I gotta say, this trilogy was a little different for me. I mean, it was as I mean, like my Matt, friend Matthew Davis said, he liked the first Jurassic World, thought the second one was okay, and then the third one he didn't really like. For me, it was a little different. I mainly did not like how the second Jurassic World movie, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, turned out. The, this one, I will say, was still okay for me. I mean, it wasn't a great film. I mean, there were some aspects from the original movie that came back to this one. Like, we were, at, we were kind of wondering how... Um, because if you remember from the original Jurassic Park movie, there was that whole... The only reason why the park failed to begin with was because of the secret mission that a man named as, known as uh, Lewis Dotson um, sent um, a man named Dennis on a, on a mission while in the park um, to steal embryos and put them in a weird whipped cream can... We never know what happened to that can after the after Dennis got killed by I think it was called a Dilophosaurus, and you know it's funny because the the fact that the Dilophosaurus is the thing that killed Dennis in the very first movie, that same dinosaur kind of comes back to as karma in this movie. But that's all I'm really gonna say. And, uh, however, the only difference with that subplot is that the guy who plays Lewis Dotson in the very first Jurassic Park was replaced in this one by, I think, if I remember correctly, that guy, I think, played Peter Parker's father in the Amazing Spider-Man movies. It, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments on that, but, but if that's who I think it was... I gotta say, he definitely did not seem like a decent replacement as the actor. But I can, I think I know exactly why they had to replace the actor who played him in the original. Because of something ha that happened with the law with him. But, regardless. The only thing that saves this movie for me, as, as always, was the original trio coming back. I kind of like how they brought these the original trio of characters, Alan Grant, Ellie Sadler, and Ian Malcolm back in this movie. And obviously, Ian Malcolm, played by Jeff Goldblum, he's the main one who brings the comedy in this movie, without a doubt. Um, so I can see why that happened. Now, Alan Grant's character, played by Sam Neill, he was definitely good in this movie. Um, and and he was actually kind of impressed when he first met Owen Grady for the first time when he realized that he was the man who trained raptors in the very first movie. I liked those aspects of the movie, but um, 
I gotta say though, the ending of this movie was, I gotta say it, the ending is what kind of got me. Because it, even though it's supposed to be the epic conclusion of this franchise, we never really get an epic conclusion. I mean, it's not really a conclusion. It seems like it's trying to leave stuff open for future installments. But really, if this, why would they say the epic conclusion of the saga if, if it's still leave, being left open? That's really all I'm going to say about the way the ending happened. But, um... But, and honestly, there were so many aspects that were kind of changed from the last movie in this one. In regards to the character of Maisie Lockwood, her interesting story is actually changed a little in this movie. I'm not going to say exactly how. Um, and, uh... It turns out we we never really see Engine in this movie at all, because see Engine was the company that was mainly featured throughout all the um the Jurassic Park movies. Heck, even uh, except for the third Jura the third Jurassic Park movie um, and this one basically. These are, it's funny. They weren't featured in the last in the Jurassic Park three, and they're not featured in Jurassic World three. It's funny. Um, however, a new company does get introduced in this in this uh, movie, and I think it's already been revealed. And that's a company called Biosyn, which of course is who Lewis Dotson, who we see in Jurassic Park, worked for. And as a matter of fact, I think he was the one who was in charge of the place. Supposedly they were a rival company to Engine, but enough about that. I gotta say this movie was kind of flat for me. It was still okay, just not as great as I thought it was gonna be. I guess my friend Matthew Davis was right about how about the way he felt about the this new trilogy, just like the original series. First one, oh great. Second one, meh. And third one was not as great as any of the other ones. I mean, now I have a little different opinion about this new trilogy, how I thought the first movie was great, the second one, meh, and then the third one was a little bit better than the second. But anyways, let me give you my rating of this movie. So for my rating of Jurassic World Dominion, again, it was not a great film. It was an okay film. I definitely thought it was a little better than the second one, but I'm gonna give this movie a uh, three out of five. So that's all for now in this uh, movie review, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.